What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the Transformers Kingdom Blaster and Eject. So this is the final figure in the Kingdom line, and I didn't think I was gonna look at any more of these, but this is actually the last one. I wanna look at this particular figure because it is the first blaster we've gotten in a very, very long time. Real proper blaster. Um, normally we get a repaint or a retool. This is its own figure. So decided, let's take a look at this. He does come with eject here. He is slightly different than the eject we've come to know. He is in this translucent blue. So this figure is also going to be redone in the new Transformers Legacy line, which is the next line that's coming out. I probably won't be looking at a lot of Legacy figures unless they're Titan class or, you know, larger figures. But for the most part, um, this guy is going to re reappear exactly as he appears here. Um, so here is Eject. He's got some nice paint on. It's got red, orange paint on the face with some blue eyes and then gold paint here. Here the legs and the arms have the hands kind of molded in and the feet molded in. So you can see that. Here's the back. Pretty gappy back here, but what would you expect for a little guy like this? Now this is included with this figure, so this is a $30 figure, so you get the, the cassette with him. Uh, transformation is relatively simple, but let's go over his articulation before we show you the transformation on this guy. So the head is on a ball joint, so it goes side to side, back to there, over to there and then it rotates all the way around. Uh, he does feel solid for a translucent plastic. It doesn't feel flimsy or like it's going to break on you. Your rotation at the shoulder. All the joints are nice and tight. Shoulder goes up to there. Rotation at the elbow. It's on a ball joint so you can get any direction you want on that elbow and it bends well past 90 degrees. For the hips you have hinge swivels so there's a hinge here that goes out to the side and then it rotates forward and backwards on that joint. You have a ball jointed knee, so it gets all the way up to there, and then it rotates around, so you can get some pose out of that. You can get him kind of flying out of the chest. Uh, he has a button here, so if you push this, it's one big button, so if you push anywhere on there, it's gonna open that chest. And then you can have eject, sort of flying out, getting ready for action, which is nice. To transform him, you're going to take the head, rotate that around, fold that into the back. Take the arms, relatively simple, you're just going to fold up and sit like that. And you can see the little holes for the cassette right there. The legs, same thing, going to fold up and just fit in right there. And there is your cassette. Right? So you take that, put that in here. Now, Seems like it goes either way, but I put it in that way, and that fits in nicely. Now he can, of course, press his own button. He's got the trigger finger here, and or the pointer finger here. You can get the arm folded so that he can press his own button. And basically he's pressing it now, and you can press and open his own button, which is really cool. Nice little inclusion there by Hasbro. Now, Blaster here comes with his blaster, of course. It is in a molded black plastic, not painted or anything. That fits into his arm, and that looks really nice. Well done figure there. Now you can also peg it kind of anywhere on his back. There's all sorts of ports and pegs, just like they have had for all these other figures. You can kind of store it, and you can stow it. You can also put it in the other hand if you want to but really nicely done accessory there. Now for articulation on this guy, pretty well done. The head goes up to there, down to there, rotates around, uh, and you can get a little bit of side to side on this head. Shoulders rotate all the way around, goes up to there on that joint. Nice tight joints on this guy. Rotation at the bicep. Single joint elbow gets you a little bit past 90 degrees. The wrist can go inwards just a bit, and again, that's to facilitate him pushing his own button. But for transformation, it goes outwards. So that extra bit of inward movement was done just so that they could do this, which is nice. Moving downwards, you have a rotation at the waist. The legs go up to there. Back to here, hindered, but if you open up that flap, you can get it further back. This is the butt flap here. And then out to the side, 
They have a little bit of red paint down here, by the way. Rotation at the thigh. Single dungeon knee gets you 90 degrees. You have an angle tilt and a toe tilt up. Not really down, it kind of stops there. But you get plenty of tilt out of that. So some nice articulation on this guy. And for a size comparison, there it is next to the Netflix or Earthrise Optimus. And fits in just fine. Basically the same height. A little bit broader, but overall basically the same kind of size as this. I mean, this is a Voyager. This is also a Voyager. Same price point. So it makes sense. It fits in well. All right, now let's get Blaster transformed into his boombox mode. Go ahead and take the gun and just set that aside. We're going to put that in a little bit later. We have the eject tape already in there. You can just leave it in there for transformation. I'll have to take it out and we can get started. So go ahead and come to the back, open up this panel, rotate the head inwards, and then close that up. Fold the arms upwards at the shoulder. Fold the hand up to the top. Rotate the arm 180 degrees and then close this down and then bring that shoulder back down. All right, same on this side. Fold this up. Fold the hand up. Rotate the arm. Fold this down and bring them back down. Now you'll see there's a little tab on the inside, so when you put the arm back, you just make sure you tab the inside of the elbow into that tab. Now we're gonna rotate the waist 180 degrees. Open up these panels here. Fold out these tiny panels inside. And that's gonna make the front of the boombox. Take the toes and fold those in. Now to take those back out, you're gonna have to tilt the, the heel because these are really tight, but that lets give you a little room to reach in there and grab that toe. Anyways, go ahead and close both toes. All right, next, go ahead and come on here, and this is a little trick they did. You're gonna flip the speaker around to the other side. You don't have to do that, but aesthetically, it just makes it look a little bit nicer because you're gonna have this speaker over here now. All right, now we're going to fold the legs up into the arms, and this is probably the trickier part. So on the bottom of the arms, you'll see there's a little tab slot right there, and this tab has to make its way into there. And you're kind of doing it in the blind unless you look from this angle, so you can see how it fits. So make sure that lines up first. Then come to here and make sure this arm is fitting through the hole, right? And that should line up just like that. All right, same on this side, make sure you Line this up first, then come to here, make sure the hand is fitting through. And I'm going to have this open. All right. And then push that in, and then finally you can close this panel, and that's going to tab in here and here. Come to the back here, open up these panels here, fold those forward, and those going to tab together to make the handle for the boombox. And the last step, you can take the gun, there's a little slot right there, and that's going to tab in right here onto the back. And there you have Blaster in his boombox mode, really, really cool looking. Uh, nice and solid, there's not any gaps as far as I can see on the front. Obviously the bottom and the back, there are some gaps, uh, but pretty solid, even compared to, you know, KFC Transistor, which is a masterpiece figure. It's actually pretty well done. Um, it feels solid and there's not, it's not very flimsy. You know, it's a solid chunk. Uh, and this gun kind of fits nicely there. Here's the side. That speaker now looks like, you know, a piece of the side. And you got some knobs here, some buttons. Oh, that looks really nice. It still works. You can still press the button and eject the tape out. We're going to leave the tape in there, but that looks really good. All in all, really, really nicely done alt mode. You can take the handle and fold it up and down here if you want to. Uh, but that's really it for the alt mode. So final thoughts on Kingdom Blaster. Let's start with the positives. I think both the robot mode and the boombox mode look really good. They did a great job on the sculpt. I was surprised to see, you know, not as much kibble as I was expecting. There's a little bit of gappiness here on the arms, but other than that, there's really nothing um, to, to talk about here as far as 
the normal stuff you see with Hasbro products, considering you know the the low cost they're trying to keep, they're trying to keep the cost down, and this one doesn't feel like that. You know, feels like it's a good, solid figure. Same for this guy. That the tape, even though it's you know it's got some gaps on the back, it does feel good. It doesn't feel cheap. Like it's gonna fall apart. It's nice and solid. All the joints work. And same for Blaster. All the joints are nice and tight. The tolerance is well done. It just doesn't feel cheap at all. Uh, I also like the paint job where it is applied. There's not a lot, but the yellow paint here, the Autobot symbol, and then the gold paint in here, and the head sculpt. Obviously, all of that looks really good, and they did a good job on that. Negatives-wise, uh, my only real complaint is the fact that this guy is done in this translucent blue. I wish he was done in his original G1 colors, because that's what they did with Blaster. Um, but that's a pretty minor complaint, because I think they'll probably put this out again in new colors. They'll probably repaint the heck out of this and keep making him in different colors and, and decos, but uh, it's really well done. So that's really my only complaint with this figure, other than the gaps in the forearms. That's it. I mean, it's it's great. It's a great figure for the Kingdom line. If you have these guys, obviously you're going to want Blaster because you've got your sound wave. It's going to fit in well with the rest of your collection. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.